Uh, maybe I shouldn't have killed that guy. Hey everyone, this is Pig Rigged and I'm playing Free Lives from Ghosts, the the video game. You know what? Fuck all this. I'm out of here. Maybe not. I thought I could just up and leave, it looked like. Anyway, I'm in Ghastly Grove. Apparently that involves ghost ropes. Also, for those of you that couldn't tell, and if you couldn't tell, you hurt my feelings, uh, I've got a new microphone, which allows me to sound like an asshole in glorious HD. I'm kind of scared. I guess that's the point since it is ghostly grove. Or, or ghastly grove, I forget which. Um, I should probably not have done this. It's just one of them levels where I need to think ahead and I'm doing the exact opposite of that. At all times. But yeah, I dished out some actual money for a, a nut headset. Walmart bought fucking Turtle Beach headset. It's actually a pretty sizable motherfucker. I'm kind of impressed. Well, that sucked. You know, after all the other crazy bullshit levels I've been going through, this is actually kind of a... Really? This is actually kind of a refreshing change of pace. I probably shouldn't say anything, because... They're probably about to- HOLY DAMN! Kick it up a notch. With guys wearing TNT for clothes, Jesus. He knows, dra he knows drama. Oh, I'm scared. This is silly. This is really silly. Well, that worked exactly like I wanted it to. Damn it. Come on now. Alright. F fuck me sideways. How am I, how do I do it? I don't I don't entirely understand. You know what? Fuck bonuses. I don't even give a shit about bonuses. I never like bonuses anyway. You're not my real dad. God damn no. You're all bad people. Yeah, I couldn't even oh, shit their back. This is all sorts of a trap. Alright, go stroke. Come on. Give me the business. Business of giving you the business. Oh. Oh dear. This is bad. This is a bad place. I don't like this anymore. Oh, he rolled the barrel at me. He's part of the fucking ghost bowling team. Hot damn! I got some bananas. Totally worth all the trouble. It's kind of one of them creepy trees from like Mortal Kombat there for a second. You know you could like feed him, feed feed your opponent to the tree in the stage fatality. Hey, this is a new level design. I had seen this place before, not in this game so far anyway. Oh shit! Come on. I was tricked into thinking this was gonna be something cool and new. And it was just more beaver carts. Holy shit. Oh, this is what we're doing. I have to feed the, the Kremlin ghost delicious treats to keep him from eating me. From turning me into delicious treats, as it were. Collect the stars. What if I don't wanna? What if I think stars are stupid? How many stars do I need? All of them? If so, I've already done fuck this up like 50 times. Oh, I got a countdown in the upper left hand, okay. I win. I'm the best. Go fuck yourselves. Beaver carts. I keep wanting to jump over the... The last one had a blue hat, but this one's got a green hat. I'm not sure what the difference is. Maybe it's more feng shui. That makes him a more dangerous ghost. Does he have like a fuel supply or like a health bar or something or do I just have to hit every barrel? Is that the answer? Just hit all of them? I mean, I'm probably going to try to do that anyway, but I'd like to know if there's a specific, a yellow hat. Oh lord. 
What's up with these barrels? What do these barrels mean? Is there something special about those? Do they like slow me down, I guess? Yes, yes they do. They make him kill me faster. I gotta, okay, so avoid the grounded barrels and avoid the bees because nobody likes bees. And bees don't like nobody, not even other bees. They'll tell you they like honey, but that's a filthy lie. Alright, yellow hat guy, that means dodge everything. Fuck! Alright, this is not off to a great start. Dodge everything. I said everything, it's not everything. Something is not everything. Well. This is certainly fun. This is the funnest level in history. Like, it's not even hard, it's just like, did you fuck up? Yes. I'm sorry the level is over. Like, I don't really feel like I have a lot of control here. And that's not really a good feeling to have. Yeah, what you gonna do now? What you gonna do, you ghost asshole with your stupid yellow fucking hat? Oh shit, he's got a red hat. Is that red or pink? I can't really tell. If it's red, I was gonna make jokes about him being the ghost of Diddy Kong from the future. After he was turned into a lizard in my fanfiction. But it just looks kind of like a weird off pink color to me. Welp! I like how I did all of that perfectly until the part where I decided to jump off of a cliff. I think that was my favorite part. Oh yeah, I gotta do the fucking yellow hat guy again too. Fantastic. This doesn't suck all the balls or nothing. See, I only hit one of the red barrels, but I'll bet he still fucking hits me. Oh, maybe not. Alright. So they give me a little bit of leeway, which is important. Too bad I'm still gonna ram into that goddamn bee every fucking time. I'm curious as to how much leeway I got with this guy, because I've already fucked up one of the getting one of the green barrels. And that'd be kinda lame if like you missed one green barrel at the very beginning and then had to go through. Oh damn. Oh, fuck now. Yep, sure enough. Like, if I, if I fuck up, I want to be punished immediately for fucking up. I don't want to be punished ten minutes after I fuck up for fucking up. I don't really like them point and click adventure type of bullshit games where it's like, Oh! You missed an item at the beginning of the game. Four hours later, you discover that it's game over. See, uh, I've already fucking hit the rock. Yep, done. It's over. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for him to kill my monkey. I would have rather he, he kill the monkey the second I fuck up like that. See, that's preferable because this pisses away less time. That, that stupid ghost sound is going to be one of those sounds that pisses me off pretty quickly, I think. The, uh, twice, twice now I've done that. They put those bananas in a spot that tempts you to jump the fuck off the cage. When prior to that, every trail of bananas is actually telling you when and where you should jump, all of a sudden that particular trail of bananas is trying to get you murdered, and I I don't know if I would describe that as fair. That seems kind of a trial and error-esque if you ask me, but I guess nobody did. Alright. Shit's over with. And I got more bananas. I played more guitar. It's been a good day. Gusty Glade. Like the Glade plug-in, which fills your room with a scented aroma. Nothing suspicious about this. Oh, really? You're giving me bonus snake now? Hey guys, what's going on in this thread? Holy damn, it's windy. 
I'm not entirely sure how a snake helps in this situation. It turns out he doesn't. You know what? Since they've given me the option as to whether or not to take the snake, I'm going to politely decline the snake. Damn! It's really windy. I can't even get up the dam. This is kind of awful. This is kind of not entirely fair. Oh my lord, are you serious? We're doing this with the wind. Well, good thing I grabbed that chest like I totally tried to. That sure did help a bunch. Thank you, game. You kind of just have to guess when the wind is supposed to take you places and when the wind is going to kill your ass. And I don't really like guessing about nothing. Yeah, see, I'm not real sure at which second the wind is just going to blow me into hell. They gave me an extra DK barrel, like that's gonna fucking help when I get blown into the fucking pit of despair. When I fall down onto the goddamn Spikes Mortal Kombat style. See that? This is, this is fucking stupid. Why are you telling me to push A? Oh, that's why you're telling me to push A. Oh no, they took away my snake. He was so important to me. Oh shit, are we really doing this? Great. Thank you, Wind. Thank you for being so damn reliable. You are certainly not a random gameplay element added to increase the difficulty. I'm an idiot. News, new, new, news at nine. More on this story later. There, there's a lot going on right now that I don't like in specific. Nope. I'm just, fuck. I was just gonna use the chest to kill the bees, but as it turns out, that's not as much of an option as I thought it was. Yeah, see that? Uh, Alright, so it's switching back and forth now. And I've got to time my jumps with the right properties of the wind. This sucks. It's all going backwards now. If it weren't for stupid ice invincibility, I'd have probably died. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get an extra monkey in there. Because that's so helpful. Oh, shit. So we're now doing the back and forth wind with barrels. Because it wasn't funny enough the first time. And the timing of it subtly changes. Every... Every once in a while. This is stupid. This is really stupid. Oh, okay, I gotta wait till it's not blowing. If I don't wanna fucking kill myself. Well, that's over with. Parrot shoot panic. All right, we got parrots. I'm gonna kill myself. BRB, I got a bottle full of one a days and I'm about to take more than one a day. All right, so I'm a parrot. I can't flap. Or shoot nuts. But by God, I'm a parrot. I guess that's the important thing. Okay, so we got multiple parrots going on. Multiple grape ass, fucking useless, non nut shooting, non flying. 
Yeah, look, he just, ha he just f floats. He just hovers downwards. I could have done all of this with Dixie Kong. That was kind of cool. I can tell you guys had your, your top men designing this level. Again, I, I hate to rag on this game when I do. Because normally the designs are so fucking perfect and the music is so good and everything is just in tip top shape, but this is just kind of fucking cheap, guys. Like, this is. This is awful. Thank God I'm halfway done. God damn it. Like, he doesn't have any options outside of, uh, hope for the best. See that, that, fuck, I don't know what, I don't know what you want me to do there. Except I already know which way to go. I forget it's, it's trial and error shit like that that I'm not real fond of. Like, I shouldn't have to just automatically know. I think I can fly him downwards faster. Okay, and I can slow him down. So I do have those options at my disposal, I guess. It doesn't help much, spoiler warning. The speeding up's pretty useful. Unless he drops me on a goddamn porcupine. He kinda makes his nut choking noise whenever he's getting tired of holding me. But all that really does is remind me that he used to be able to spit nuts out. Now he can't. I say that like it's the same parrot. I'm sure it's a different parrot. It's all parrots look alike to me because I'm parrot racist. Alright, this got a little bit easier once I understood that I could be a fat fucking parrot. With like two different separate god. <sighs> this is very frustrating because the monkey's a hitbox and the parrot's a hitbox. And I have to avoid. Either of them getting touched by any of the giant ass bees. Are, are we done here yet? Are we quite fucking finished? No, I guess not. We're gonna do this a couple more fucking iterations. Like, I'm just really doing the same thing over and over at this point. It's, it's a row of bees and then two rows of bees. Ooh. And then another parrot. Oh, dodge these bees. <clears throat> See, this isn't, this isn't really fun. This is just, this is just you putting a bunch of bees in a level. This is just you doing the same shit over and over and expecting me to enjoy it after the fourth or fifth time. Having to repeat the level over and over because of how long you made it does not make it any funnier because the longer you make it, the less fun it is to have to fucking do the level over. I, I'm just throwing that out there. I know the time for constructive criticism on the level makings. A little past due. From what I understand, the game is already finished and shipped out and I'm like 20 years late but this this particular level kinda sucks it kinda sucks big monkey balls like big not even Donkey Kong size balls I mean like King Kong size balls like giant kaiju rubbing them all up on the Empire State Building size testicles Hey, this happened. Well, that was helpful. I was hoping it was one of them level skipping barrels, because frankly, I'd like to skip this level. 
See, this is stupid. And I'm sick of it. Nope. Don't give a shit. Yeah, see, I almost couldn't slow down enough to get past the bees. Like, slowing down doesn't help. Speeding up helps a little bit. But slowing down doesn't really do anything for anybody. Well, everybody. I was hoping to go a little bit longer, but that one kind of wore me out. What's next? Clubhouse Chaos is not the answer. Web Woods. I do like the spider, but I think I'd rather in the like start the next one on a high note than than end this one on a high note. This one's already hit a low point, and I don't want my bee experience to sour my spider experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. I'll probably farm for lives or something. This is Pig Rick, and I'll see you guys later.